Hi guys, it's Emily here, and today we're going to be talking about the transposition of the great arteries, or TGA. So, first of all, let's start with some multiple choice questions to see where your base knowledge is. Question 1. Is transposition of the great arteries a cyanotic or acyanotic heart defect? A. Cyanotic. B. Acyanotic. C. Both. Think about whether this would cause a left to right or a right to left shunt. The answer is A. Cyanotic. Question 2. What is the gold standard investigation for a definitive diagnosis? Is it A. Pulse oximetry, B. CXR or chest x ray, C. Echocardiogram or D. Ultrasound? Think about what you would be looking for and what would be the best way to visualise this. The answer is C. Echocardiogram. Using an echo, you can really visualise the um, heart and see if there's any abnormalities. Okay, question three. Is dextro TGA or levo TGA most common? A, dextro TGA, B, levo, levo TGA. Think about what each of these mean anatomically. The answer is A, dextro TGA. This means that the pulmonary artery and the aorta swap locations but don't change function. Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about what transposition of the great arteries is, symptoms and history, investigations and differential diagnosis, clinical examination and OSCE tips, and then we're going to go back over the multiple choice questions to see whether it's sunk in. Okay, so what is transposition of the great arteries? This is when the pulmonary artery and the aorta are in each other's place. There are two types of TGA, Dextro TGA, which is most common, this is when the pulmonary artery and the aorta swap locations but don't change function. There are two small circuits, not one like normal. This can lead to cyanosis. Oxygenated and deoxygenated blood must mix somehow for life to be sustained, and this can be via a PFO, ASD, VSD, or PDA. Here we can see what happens. The other type is a levo TGA. This is congenitally corrected TGA. Vessels are in the wrong place, but the ventricles also switch sides. This creates a single circuit. It's acyanotic. The right ventricle and tricuspid valve are not accustomed to the higher pressure of the left side, so there's hypertrophy over time, which can cause tricuspid regurge and heart failure. Okay? So symptoms. So what are the symptoms? Cyanosis within 24 hours, but most often at just a few hours of birth as this is a medical emergency. There will be poor feeding and also sweating between feeds. Let's take a look at a history and see whether you can pick out the key points. A baby born at term turns blue within two hours of birth. They will not have a hole for blood to mix, like a VSD, and so they will cyanose. Or a 20-day-old male patient presents with respiratory distress and cyanosis. What investigations would we do to look into this further? We could do an echocardiogram. This would show the abnormal position of the arteries. A chest x-ray, egg on a string due to the narrowed mediastinum, cardiomegaly and increased pulmonary vascular markings. This is what you can see. See how it looks like an egg on a string? So what differential diagnosis might we see? Tetralogy of Fallot. Although with Tetralogy of Fallot, the chest x-ray would show a boot-shaped heart and you could use echocardiogram to distinguish between them. Sorry, tricuspid atresia. An ECG would show left axis deviation in tricuspid atresia, but not in TGA. What would we see on examination? You would see a prominent right ventricular heave, a single second heart sound, a loud A2 due to anterior position of aorta, systolic murmur potentially if a VSD is present, but often there is no murmur. There would be no signs of respiratory distress. Here's some tips for OSCE. Know the difference between cyanotic and acyanotic heart defect presentations. Remember the grading system for murmur classifications. 
If asked, it's TGA that is the most common cause of cyanosis in a newborn. Here are the murmurs we can go through. There's six murmurs in total. There's the first three have no thrill and the second three have a thrill. Grade one is really faint and it's not heard in all positions. So this is really difficult to hear. So most of the time people are experts when they can hear this and all they have a lot of experience. Grade two is soft and can be heard in all positions with no thrill. Grade three is loud with no thrill. Grade four is loud with a thrill. Grade five is heard with a stethoscope partially off the chest with a thrill. And grade six is heard with the stethoscope completely off the chest with a thrill. So guys, let's go back over the multiple choice questions to see whether we've learnt anything. Question one, is transposition of the great arteries a cyanotic or acyanotic heart defect? A, cyanotic, B, acyanotic, or C, both? It's A, cyanotic. Question two, what is the gold standard investigation for a definitive diagnosis? Is it A, pulse oximetry, B, chest x-ray, C, echocardiogram, or D, ultrasound? The answer is echocardiogram. And question three, is dextro TGA or levo TGA most common? A, dextro TGA, B, levo TGA. The answer is A, dextro TGA. Okay, guys, that's the end of the presentation. I hope you found that useful. Please come back to learn more from our revision materials and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.